What's up, what's up, what's up? This is What's Up DC, it's your boy Fight DC, that case of love. Uh, this episode, I'm um, trying to make it really short for this one. Um, uh, this, uh, I guess, uh, talk about Rob Gronkowski. Uh, I just been, I guess, I guess been confirmed this morning they retired from the NFL at the age of 29. I almost say it's myself. I thought he was older than that. But, um, yeah, he had a great career. You know, he battled injuries, I think, the past couple seasons. But, um, I, I don't know if he, I, don't, I forget how he did the Super Bowl. I think he did okay in the Super Bowl. But, um, I think, I think he's a three-time Super Bowl champion. I think he's a five-time Pro Bowler. I don't know if that's correct. But, um, I just want to say, um, yeah, he had a great career, you know, yeah, a lot of guys kind of like retire early now, you know, um, like Jim Brown would say a few years ago that the only problem with some of the players, they stay around too long, and he's actually, actually, yeah, he's really correct on that one, because there's a lot of guys, they stay around a long, long time, like Junior Seau, rest in peace to him, he stayed around for uh, 20 years, you know, he retired twice. And but I think he tired he came back the second time. So um another you know guy kinda of, you know a lot of years in the league. You know, you have your Paytmans and you got your Tom Brady's now. Cause he, you know, been in the league for all, all nearly I think this might be Tom, Tom Brady maybe eighteen nineteen season, so I think a lot of quarterbacks are staying around longer but a lot of tight ends and run backs are kind of retiring kind of early and you know got Vontae Davis Vernon Davis his uh, brother he, you know retired at halftime walked out <laughs> so I think he only played maybe like five six years or so but um what's going to say but um we see here yeah, cause Gronkowski you know yeah he was you know great tight end but um Kind of feel, I think he's kind of more of a celebrity, though. You know, you have some guys that kind of more, you know, like, I guess, like the celebrity player. I guess Joe Nail was the first celebrity kind of football player, but, um, I don't know, yeah. So he, you know, drawing kind of commercials and, you know, seeing the commercials. He's like a fun dude, you know. You like the club and go to clubs and go to, you know, other game go to the wrestling events because him and Mojo Raleigh, you know, Alexandria native, they real good friends. So it was good to see him in the WWE one day, maybe. And uh, him and Mojo Raleigh for a tag team. So I think we prefer uh, for Gronk to yo know, team up with uh, Mojo Raleigh. <laughs> and um, I just want to say, um, I don't know, yeah, so. I think he probably, I think Grump probably, I think I love seeing him in some movies. You know, I think he'd be great in a movie you know, or if he still do commercials still. still. He may some do other fun things. And I think got some guys that come back from retirement. Dude, uh, Cromartie, Martin Cromartie, I think. Dominique Cromartie Martin coming back from retirement. Jason Witten, I think, come back from retirement. So, pretty much saying something in the NFL. I know a lot of people, yo, know, still, yo, know, upset about Colin Kaepernick and this whole concussion thing, domestic violence and all that. But uh, I don't think Gronk was never a bad guy. He was never in that mix. So, say best wishes for him and his success, yo, know, throughout. So, that's all I'm saying for the time being. So, this boy Fighty say case love. Thank you, Gronk. What you did for NFL, what you did on and off the field. Peace, yeah.